You can help by using EMF pods to generate electromagnetic charge for them. <laughs> Some people say Don't ghost. put your tongue to it. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry. I mean, if you want to put your tongue to it, it's however like a, you get like your kicks, tube. I don't know. Just what are they? Is a the battery? battery? <laughs> <laughs> Some people say ghosts and myths have facial characteristics hey, when closely examined. Hey. You, you still huh? never provided me with any pictures of people licking their elbows, remember? Oh, shit. I, I will. I will. I promise you I will. <laughs> this is where the Dos Locos kicks it. in. Oh, oh my people... God. <laughs> I've seen people do it. Honest to God. Ask my child. Whatever. I'll just bring him out here. <laughs> what? He can't, but he has seen pictures of it done. Trust me. Photoshop. Trust me on this. No, these people would not have. Oh, these people have no. long. Those people with the long giraffe necks. Yeah. Anybody that can lick their elbow, I will pay hard cash. Stop I can lick my toe. <laughs> okay, she just stripped it into what the microphone. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Cheap kicks on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh my god. I just want- I'm sorry. I just had to. Sorry, I distracted you. You go right ahead. You totally distracted me. I, I was reading with such well, because good you cracked intent. your elbow, and I'm like elbow, I know, elbow, but it did and I'm hurt like really bad. It was no, very, no. But then was I was very humorous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's get spooky. <coughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think she's in a spooky mood. I'm not. <laughs> not right now. Some people say ghosts. Ghostly myths have facial characters when closely examined. I'd say that's hit or miss. Me too. Mm-hmm. Facial features are in proportion. It looks like a human face. They may have something. Otherwise, it's probably just Matrix. Hmm. You ever see those like glitch the Matrix pictures? Mm-hmm. Yes. Those are pretty cool, though. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's like the same shit that happens over and over again. Mm-hmm. It's like weird. Uh, Echo myths can happen any time of the day or night. Yes. They're just as likely to appear during the day as they are at night. Oh, my foot is tingling now. <laughs> They also follow the same color patterns as the orbs. Oh, so like um, whitey. Yeah. But that would be weird to see a different color mist, though. That would be weird. Like how. Uh, yeah. Uh, outside of the normal yeah. realm of them, if, like, if you had like a pale pink thing, I'd be like, oh, okay. That's Is it like a like weird. a ghost that didn't get its wings or oh, something? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, well, like, here mm-hmm. we go. The mist coming off the ocean in Hawaii is green. Oh, really? It says most are white, but can appear as gray, pale, blue, light green, mm-hmm. light red, or pink. Weird. The mist was coming off the... Okay, that'd be creepy. I'd be waiting for the black pearl to, like, arrive on shore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like... Exactly. Oh, it was the coolest looking thing ever. Really, eh? You just watch it. Ooh. It. No, that creepy... Uh, I don't I mean, think I've ever seen a colored one. No, no. I've never seen Oh, it. totally. I can understand how, like, um, superstitions or Viking lore or, mm-hmm. or mermaids or everything. Oh, of course. Yeah, you're on, you're on a ship, and all of a sudden this shit comes out of nowhere, and it's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh my god, we're going to die, mm-hmm. because I can't see where we're going, yeah. who knows what's down there, right? Right. And who knows if well, maybe like ships the, have hit something before. Oh, same shit, I know, it's an unknown factor. Yeah, that's it, end of times, right? Oh, Armageddon. Explain yeah. to me the first person that saw... Uh... A chicken shit out an egg and says, I want to eat that. You know what I mean? Like all this. Who's the first person <laughs> decided to drink cow's milk and milk that sucker is what I want to know. But this is what I mean. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not comparing phenomenon, paranormal phenomenon to like first, but I mean, the, you know, like when, there, what do they. Well, that would make oh, sense. Okay, yeah. That would make sense. But the I egg thing. That, or father, somebody thinking that, okay, we have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baby can't have yeah. Nothing. Yeah. What can but no, do? there's lots of weird. But I mean, shit all these like weird first. The first person. Like you that see, did you some see the fog. Shit. You see the fog, and it's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. So you know what? So it's like Thorborg <laughs> Orderson on the Viking ship said, yeah, wow, "This is wow. some pink shit fog." Wow, there's a dragon there. Yeah. And yeah. everyone. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. Or maybe that's when they first saw the dragon was out of the yeah. fog. <laughs> Yeah. But you know what I mean, though. Like really, I know. Seriously, you can see where you could, 
where, where it's coming from. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. But, I mean, I've seen shit like that right now that I'd be mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't like, okay, here we go. They can appear in the cemetery woods or a brand new apartment building. Okay, cemetery really? fog? Okay. Yeah, that's... You know, shit. I've yeah. been walked around Woodbridge and shit yeah, or yeah. that area. I've yeah. not walked into, like, a freaking grave site and went like... On, uh, Excuse Andrews me. Andrews on the red. I know. We do have that in the works. We have we that on the works, story, but, uh, Donna. Uh, that's, you have more stories? That's a deep dive. Well, I know Millie went out there. That was the big thing when they were young, and they went to there and got all freaked out. Okay, so you got to oh, get yay. some stories from her. But you know what it was? It was the caretaker because people they were going there and they were and they were desecrating the, that. Mm. Oh, they were. Well, he hooked up a bunch of police systems. Oh, mm. creepy! Oh, yeah. Did he really? See, yeah, we saw some people. stuff on. Um, oh, yeah. A page there, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that you didn't have more. Cause that was no, well there isn't a lot. No, no. Because you know what happens? Like the websites stories get lost. Yeah, so websites go down after a while. And websites, you have to go in. And talk, to talk to people. Talk to people. I know. You have to find people that have been there. Ask your mother-in-law. Okay. Ghosts don't really understand the current world, so they hold on to a site. That's where oh. you can find them in places you wouldn't expect. Mm-hmm. It's like, I know, it's like driving through, like, those country roads. You, like, go through the lowest spot. You're like, yeah. is that, like, oh, All Woodbridge. the time. Just All the time. Just the tracks. Yes. That's creepy. It is creepy. Right by the church there. That church, yeah. I know. I don't I like know. that spot. But there's always fun yeah. there. Always. Yeah. I know. No, that's creepy. I don't know. That's it. That's Was all that I've it? got. Oh, okay. General, general tips about ghost hunting with uh, squirrels and this. Nah. Like when I did my go, one of my ghost tours when I went to the Fort Gary Hotel. Mm-hmm. They and I talked about this before. I don't mean repetitive or anything, but no. they went in the one ballroom, and then there was the one, uh, the one captain or whatever his name was. He was a colonel. He was known to haunt because he always had his meals in the one ballroom on the yeah, main yeah. floor and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they would communicate with him, and they said usually when you could tell he was in your presence, you could see wisps of smoke, right? Right. And you could also see cigar smoke, like or, oh, or so not, like... or smell cigar or something. Oh. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And then they do the divining rods, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. And they would ask questions of him and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they said, pay very close attention because sometimes when he's in the vicinity, the, you'll see wisps of smoke okay. or mist right, in between the divining rods. And I saw it. In between the rods? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, very oh, cool. that's pretty neat. So that would be my one instance that I can recall that I've seen. Mm. Ecto mist that they say, you know. Ghost farts. Ghost farts. That's what that is. <laughs> We all got a fart every night. Yeah, fart, right? Just don't shat better, your pants. Better out than in. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> shat your pants. No. So. No. I, I, I've I never actually seen anything other than like, yeah. like I'm saying, like weird but, country mist. But, you know, mist. I think like it's just fog. It's just like kind of all the same. Like, I again, I don't trust fog. So, but anyway, no. we've, we've talked that to the dead horse. Dead horse. <laughs> dead horse cider. Yay. Yay. Dead horse. Next time. Anyway, I guess, uh, oh, I just wanted to close off. I just wanted what, what, what? a few house cleaning business thingies here. Oh, I saw you writing so, like a maniac. I know. Early. She was like. I usually do this before I come out, but I don't get out very often. So I wanted to say thank you to Libby at Traveling Minds. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks we did, for sharing us. We did a little uh, interview where I sent her a little, it was like, why did you get into podcasting things? So A little blurp blurp. A little blurp blurp. So I did, I told her who we are. I told her what we do. You know, stuff like that there. Mm-hmm. And that, want to give a shout out to our other Sista podcast. Oh. Uh, we have Jen and Teresa. Yep. At for the Reels. For Reels. The uh, for Real podcast. Their third episode will be coming out shortly. Uh, if you love anything to do with pets and animals and, and rescues and rescues and fostering, like shares a, a new rescue. And, yeah. Yeah. So definitely those girls know a lot. They've seen a lot. and. Yes. Check out their podcast as well. Our other sisters, they debuted their Prairie Spirit Paranormal Society. PSPS. PSPS episode. PSPS. Jen and Tyleen. Tyleen is such an awesome girl. Holy shit. I'm very nice. She's a sweet, sweet girl. Yeah, very sweet. Mm-hmm. Very knowledgeable. She just knows things that I just can't explain and very I'm in cool. awe of her. So I, I I thank her for her insightfulness. And we met her at... At the Dolph Nerd. Yes, Doors we open. did. It was awesome. Yeah. So Janet and Tylene, that is there along with Janet's sister, Sherry. Another Sherry. Another Sherry. Your Sherry. She's Sherry. There's no IE in her name. No. Though. And no. we did the, uh, their uh, episode is, was the Petersfield Poltergeist. Yes. And that came out on Halloween Day. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And check them out. They mm-hmm. are on iTunes and iHeart and everything now. Mm. They are. And I heard too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good. So Yay. check them out. They're That's second. Because they're linked to you. I know, right? I know, right? 
but uh, it's not who you know. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't have that attachment. <laughs> <laughs> but those girls those girls did great and uh their second episode they're gearing up they're doing an investigation coming up shortly so for where um where, what, when, disclosion how? possibly windsor park disclosure location disclosure disclosure is that this is like a disease disclosure location disclosure <laughs> i'm inventing words my dislocal like is it. making me windsor invent park. words windsor park windsor park yeah shut up i live there for i did years. too i was born and conceived in windsor park i don't think i was conceived there wanted to mention on shortly in the next couple of weeks we will be interviewing adam from 107 the gimli radio station oh, who yes, lives in gimli. a haunted house Ooh, ooh, ooh never and there's also like gimli hotel gimli hotels shit. haunted yeah. so we're gonna ask him about that cool. and uh do an episode about that that would be awesome um, another one also we're still gonna look for this winter i want to cover celebrity uh ghost stories <laughs> <laughs> Sherry. <laughs> Sherry's molesting the mic with her eyelash. <laughs> That's funny. You can see it. Look at that. No, it makes noise. That's so funny. Anyway. I'm sorry. We want to see a contact reach out to famous Winnipeggers and see if they have any stories of when they lived in Winnipeg of ghost stories. Also, Ooh. speaking of go- celebrities, speaking of celebrities? Speaking? speaking of celebrities, Sean Geek. Sean one and Sean two. Sean one and Sean two. Or sorry, Todd. Todd. Sorry, Todd. We give. <laughs> sorry, we just. I just love saying it now. It's like yeah. gonna be. It's gonna be. I know. Now. But you gotta love us when you start that. Though, I know right? you gotta love us. Uh, We're gonna have them on those boys. Uh, they are. I want to hear about their eighteen hundred yeah. house stories. They have a house they grew up in in on the east coast, but because yeah. they're Winnipeggers, we'll allow it, and yeah, we want to we'll hear. Allow it. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. hell's yeah. Come we've on. got you we've got your back we've yeah, got your in. i want to hear that shit now i want to hear that stuff we, we're all about the ghosts the ghost yeah. love i want to hear that and also i think we're supposed to be um co not co-hosting but uh appearing as guests on co-chatting co-chatting co co-judging <laughs> on beaver <laughs> beaver does movies Oh, beaver on james show if he oh, wants cool. to have us over wanna i don't know which one it is though. watch a movie i guess and just critique it or something that'll be fun that'd oh be my cool God. that'd Me be different movie critiquing and are we gonna be like technical like artsy no. fartsy technical no storyline technical no just whatever we're just fly by the seat of our pants okay good i like that and then looking at my notes i'm like shit I think i'm like I wait, what does mention. that say like does Miron to me i don't know why i don't know oh that was movie does movie does Miron? does movies does Sorry. movies no yep. gimli there was something oh and and this was really cool i made a contact at the german club Oh, okay. Remember I was telling you about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tatiana. Um, I told her, Tatiana? get a hold of me. Tatiana. I like that yeah. name. Tatiana. The German club is very, very old. It was built in 1893. It was a Jewish school. Oh, and then the Germans it? bought it in 1952. <laughs> Shut the front door. What You're could that disturb? Me. What could that disturb? Oh. <laughs> right? Right? Really? Yeah. And you do get a very, it's so old and creepy in there. Really? Like, it's cool, but it's creepy. Yeah, hey, old. There would be, like, such tension. <laughs> I know, right? That would just be not right pissed at off, all. Pissed off Jewish people. Really? Really. I Seriously. mean, I'm all kumbaya, but I mean, I at know, the time, but no, that's just, you know, that's like just a not... weird combination yeah, of shit. Yeah. So I want to do a little more history on the Jewish school. Shush, shush. <laughs> the Jewish school. <laughs> on the Jewish. German. German. <laughs> Um, because we went for breakfast at the Schnitzel House last week. There, it's a restaurant in the German club. Love that place. We we talked with Tatiana, and she's like, "Oh yeah, it's haunted." She started telling us stuff, and she goes, "I'm going to gather up more stories Just for you. Record your no, breakfast I know. meetings." No, I know, but <laughs> and, and you know your, what? You just she, put your phone on everywhere you go to eat. She said she'd even have. She said she's pretty sure she can even get us in there to record from there. Ooh, that'd be can cool. Can we have Schnitzel? Schnitzel and bratwurst. No, no bratwurst. Schnitzel Actually, the red good, cabbage, though. I highly recommend the red cabbage. It's oh, very but delicious. But then we'll have ectomus. Yes, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. So I think that was all for my, uh, you know, my little spiel of what's coming up and what we're okay. going to do. Sounds and good. Uh, still, we want to do spirits with spirits. We have mm-hmm. lots of goody little goody things planned for you people. My Too God. many. Yeah, we want to treat you like our family. Jasmine's got to quit her job. I wish. <laughs> It may happen one day because I don't have enough grief happening in my life. No. Anyway, whatever. I'm the bigger person. Cheers. Cheers. Saturday nights are right for podcasting. Yes, it is. And we know everything about nothing. And nothing about just about nothing about everything. F A everything. (laughs) So this episode wasn't too spooky. It was kind of cool about the ectomist. Fuzz. 
you know, ramble shows. Yes, we plan on having a lot of good, more spooky I'm stuff coming up. The Momo one day. The Momo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For All sure. The scary for sure. Shit thing. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, the other ramble show would be the. Uh, What's it, Bloody Mary and all that kind of oh, crap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Basically, stuff like, like that. Just children, uh, yeah. scary shits. If you have any ideas, anything you want us to cover, anything you're interested in, if you have any ghost stories, certainly oh, shoot please. them at us. We'd love yeah. to hear. Uh,